Hello, very good morning, students. Myself, Sachin Bowen, working as assistant professor in the Stress Institute of Pharmaceutical Education at the Chaurasana. Today, we are going to perform the pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry practical. So the aim is to perform identification test for magnesium hydroxide. The experimental setup required uh, to perform the practical uh, apparatus in that measuring cylinder, beaker, test tube, glass pot, chemicals required, ammonia, barium chloride, titan yellow, ammonium chloride, sodium hydroxide, dilute HCl, mercury chloride, etc. So, uh, before uh, proceeding for the procedure, okay. the principle of this identification test is uh, in the identification test uh, are prescribed in the pharmacopoeia that is for to check the quality of the drug. Okay, so the pharmaceutical aid or any reagent it requires the test. Okay, uh, it is prescribed according to the Indian pharmacopoeia. So the principle of the different test is based on reaction of various ions and radical with specific inorganic or organic reagent. Okay. So different tests have different results, different difficulties. It is depend according to their reaction. Okay. So in the procedure, we have to perform uh, this procedure step by step. So first is a physical test. Okay. So we'll perform this physical test by its of nature, color, odor, okay, we also check the solubility, whether it is soluble in water or not, or whether it is soluble in ethanol or not, okay. So, uh, after that, the identification tests are required, okay, as our aim is to perform identification test for magnesium hydroxide. So, this is very important. So, in that, first is test A, okay. So, in this, we have to take the 0.5 ml solution of substance, okay, that is being examined. And you have to add the 0.2 ml of 0.1% with the solution of titan yellow and 0.5 ml of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. So you will get the red PPT, okay, which is settled at the bottom. So, so uh, color variation may form, uh, like uh, it will show the red PPT or some reddish orange, okay. So uh, next is test B. Okay, so we have to dissolve about 50 ml of substance okay, in 5 ml of water. In that, you have to add 1 ml of dilute HCl, then 1 ml of barium chloride solution. Okay, so you will get white PPT substance. Then, test B is uh, you have to dissolve the 50 ml of substance in 5 ml of water. Then, you have to add 1 to ml of mercury chloride solution. Then, you will get the yellow PPT at the last. Okay. Okay. Now uh, we will perform the physical test and identification test step by step. Okay. Let's turn to the practical section. This is the experimental section for identification of magnesium hydroxide. So in the procedure section, we'll perform the procedure the first step. Okay. Uh, so we'll first uh, start with the physical test. Okay. So in physical test, we have the uh, different parameters like nature, color, water, and water, uh, and water, and water, and water. Okay. So in the physical test, uh, you can see the nature of magnesium. So, so we may say that uh, the test is confirmed for the solid. Okay, and the color is white. Okay, so again test is confirmed. Then it is again odorless. Okay, so test is very, very odorless. So, uh, for the purpose of solubility, okay, we will take uh, this as a Okay. Uh, small quantity to make it on the side. I will check the solubility in water. Okay. So you can see uh, it is 
to be soluble okay. in water. Now, uh, next day, we have to check its solubility in alcohol that is So, we have to check this quantity of magnesium hydroxide. Okay. Add the ethanol. So, here you can see uh, there is no solubility for the magnesium hydroxide in ethanol. Here is it. In bottom, you can see now uh, this is for the observation within the physical test. Okay. Now, uh, actual RNA is sufficient to perform uh, step by step. Okay. Okay. So we have to take the zero point five ml of uh, solution of this magnesium hydroxide. So we have already prepared uh, this solution and taken the zero point five ml of the uh, neutral slightly acid solution of the magnesium hydroxide. Okay. So uh, we have weighed and taken this magnesium hydroxide and uh, make the solution. And made it zero point five ml. Okay. And in that we are going to add zero point two ml of the titan yellow solution. So this is the titan yellow solution we are requesting. So we add zero point two ml titan yellow solution in the test. So, yes, here zero point two ml. I did the 0 0.2 ml, 0.1% solution of titanium. Okay. And uh, that again, we are going to add 0 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide. So the solution is already prepared for the 0 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. So we again add the 0 0.5 ml of solution. Okay. Of sodium hydroxide in the flow. So also one ml. Okay. So that's zero point one molar sodium hydroxide. Zero point five ml. This one for the zero point. We are going to add in the so you can see that. Uh, some red turbidity is developed. Okay. So this is the indication for the presence of the magnesium hydroxide or identification of magnesium hydroxide. You can see the uh, PPT is set up at the bottom. Okay. The color will change from reddish orange, reddish orange. Okay, and at the bottom you can see the uh, slightly PPT is developed, and it is uh, slowly settled at the bottom. So, 
Next, we have to add the one ml of dilute HCl and the one ml of dilute solution. One ML dilute HCl, or another one ML of dilute HCl. Then again, we have to add one ML of the other solution. We have added the barium chloride in this first. So here you can see the light PPT is formed. Okay. So we need the identification of the magnesium hydroxide. Thank you. It is slowly settling at the bottom. The next uh, identification test is confirmed for the magnesium across. So, the next test, uh, we we'll have to start with the again magnesium hydroxide. So, we we'll, have uh, weighed the 50 mg of magnesium hydroxide. It is all in the 5 ml of water. So, we we'll measure the 5 ml of Okay. And the next uh, agent we have to add that is a mercury chloride solution, one to two amount. Okay. So we'll add the first added the mercury chloride solution. And we will see the PPT settled at the bottom. We will put the PPT at the bottom. 
So uh, the different identification tests. They all are the all the tests is confirmed uh, for the magnesium hydroxide. So we can identify that we can say that the magnesium hydroxide comply all the tests uh, given according to the Indian pharmacopoeia. So as a result, you can say that the given magnesium hydroxide was comply all the tests according to the IP. So at last, uh, in the result, after performing the physical test and the different identification test, that is ABC, so we can say that the given sample of magnesium hydroxide was found to comply with the test A, B, and C for identification as well. 